Hello guys, this is Metrix Ray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p and native PS2. Uh, I'm going to be doing some frame rate testing and also show you the best settings on VEX. We're using large frame buffer, custom resolution of 1440p as you see, Bellinear PS2 or Bilinear, 16 times anisotropic filtering, you do not need mapping for this game. Um, full safest and we're using four times MSAA that's just to smooth off the jaggies this game is not really too demanding for um, for frame rate the frame rates holding up really well but it's also extremely confusing on how it works I'll explain it very shortly when we get in the game I'm using four times it, it holds up alright and FXAA for blowing off the edges as long as and also smoothing off the edges with MSAA so um, let's go over here I've got the MTVU hack turned on, it's just to hold a stick, to keep a steady 60 frames. That's pretty much it, it's not optional, oh wait, it is optional, sorry, you can have that off, doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, so we're going to have a look at native PS2. This game uh, uses 640 by 448 so very close to native PS2, and yeah, let's have a look. So this game has a few glitches in this game in Vex. I will show you at the end of the video if you want to stick around. If you just want to see the resolution comparisons then you only have to watch the next minute or two. So as you see, this game targets 60 frames, but then again, as I said, this game doesn't always target 60. It's a bit strange. It always flicks to 60 to 30. It's like at a some sort of like a some sort of weird B sync. So like if you go on one part of the game it flicks to 30. And if you go to another part of the game it flicks to 60. It's hard to explain but also, if you do look in demanding areas, like over there, it does drop in frames, as you see. The frame counter is accurate for this video, because it's, this game does target 60. Now, this is native PS2. There are loads of uh, aliasing, as you see on the ground, also everywhere else. It is a bit of a blurry game, unfortunately. But let's have a look at native 1440p. Now, native 1440p is in hardware mode, and software mode is native PS2. Now, in hardware mode, as you can see, the moon's got some weird, weird box around it. It's a, just a weird glitch. The game run, does run smoother on uh, hardware mode on P, um, native 1440p. So as you see, there's a few glitches right there. MSAA does cause that weird flickering shadow glitch, so you can turn it off and it'll be running better. And also, it doesn't have that weird glitch, but I wanted to enable it just to show you, you know, there, there's no jaggies. There's absolutely no jaggies in this, in this, uh, um, this video right now. I've cleaned them all up with native 1440p and MSAA. Now there's a weird glitch. This is, um, I just want to quickly show you guys. If you jump in the water in this game on hardware mode and go under it, as you see, you can't really, it's not really playable because your character's still there, but you're technically underwater. If you look at the, um, I think it's on the left for you guys, the bubble is actually going off. It looks like I'm actually drowning, which I actually am drowning. So when I go to software mode, I'm actually in the water right now. And once you're in in the water on software mode, the game is a lot more blurry for some reason. It's very, very blurry and lots, loads of more aliasing, so that's not a really good uh, look. Um, so the only way to play water levels in this game is you have to play on software mode, which is native PS2. Um, that's pretty much it. The frame rate holds up really well on this game. See, look, here's 60 frames right over here. If I look there, but if I go over here, it's like 30 frames. There you go, there's 30 frames right there. So very strange, this game, with frame rate, this game has very strange frame rate. Now, that's pretty much the end of the video, but one more thing I wanna quickly show you if you wanna see a horrible glitch. Um, if you go in the hub world at um, native 1440p or hardware mode, your game like goes down to three frames. I'll show you, as you see. Look, there's a frame rate counter on the top left. If you guys look at it, as you see, the game does run awfully slow. So if you do play this game on um, on native um, hardware, uh, just don't go in this area because your frame rate drops horribly, really horrible. So what you're going to do is, look, five frames, two frames. This is F9, that. One frame. Oh, my God. Hold up. So when you go and play in software mode in the hub world, it runs nice. It's like 30 frames, but that's okay. Anyway... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching.